Brandon and I are at Pick and Pull Junkyard today because we need a way to move our boat, Harmony, without leaving that pretty rainbow of oil in our wake. We found our car. This is the Honda we're gonna get our engine out of. Boom, it's right there. See, I'm touching it. That's our future motor, right there. That's mm -hmm. gasoline engine, that's electric motor, and that's transmission. And it's exciting. It's important to wear the proper footwear. Yes. Sandals with socks. It is very proper. Important. <laughs> if you're working with sharp metal, and uh, wrecked cars are always full of lots of sharp metal. And uh, I'm not bleeding yet, but I will be. You bet your bottom dollar I will be. I'm gonna be bleeding real soon. <laughs> The What's mechanism next? that turns the steering wheel. I gotta remove the cutter pin to it and then this nut. And when I bang that out, this will fall. And then we should be able to separate the transmission and grab the motor. Pretty much like eight more bolts, maybe. Sweet. Uh, 18 is the closest we're gonna come. 18 will have to work. Oh, Dang. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Hammering, all that hammering. Aww. I give up and it says, okay, I'll fall for you. Aww. I'm falling for you. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Jerk. You're so cute. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ridiculous. All right. Now if we can get the motor. That's down. Move it forward so it might come down. Yeah, it's wedged in there. Looks like maybe if you cut those wires, it would just fall. Which wires? The headlight wires on the left side, the mechanic right side. Whoa. That's out. <laughs> thing's gonna drop. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. I told you to that back. There's the motor. Yay. Yep. The day has finally come. I've dreamed. About days like this, where I can just come out to the junk shard and get fleshless parts from Super Sheep and George Shed. I want to get about three of these. So I want to put one on a motorcycle, one on a go kart, and one on a sailboat. <laughs> what are the batteries in this thing? Have we looked to see if the hybrid batteries in this thing? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. We pull the bolts here. See. Fill that bolt head inside of there. Yeah. And I can see that bolt head inside of here. Those two aren't captured. Maybe I can oh, just pull okay. these two, two tins and yeah. pull it straight up. Let me try that. Okay. Oh, this is a cute one right there. Oh, he's got a tin right here. Yeah. He's got an electric one. Pretty handy, though. I'm so used to, I'm, as I'm a mechanic, so I'm so used to using these before I use the art. <laughs> Ooh, see, he's fast. Ah, yeah. Man, this machine. <laughs> <laughs> See, these. it's these magnets. The, there's a gap right between this ring. Yeah. This is the part that spins, and this is the part that don't. Okay. Which I can spin the engine. You have to get these off too. Yeah. You have yeah. to get these off, and pull yeah. the magnet yeah, off, and then it won't. Okay. Have yeah. Any, He's uh, got comata. Yeah. This is yeah. So we have to go get the twelve. I ain't got none of them. Let me rip my
See? And but the motor, because the magnetism, it stays inside with the coils. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that insane? Mm -hmm. So I gotta free up some more electronics right here. Let me get all these out. We got our motor. Right. This is what's gonna take us down the ICW in a couple weeks. And generate power off the grid. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, we already got the solar panels. They're 40 inches by 77 inches. And I got four of them. They're like almost four by eight. Y'all can just have it. Can you just say that wow, again are you camera? serious? <laughs> we got us a battery. Yeah, that's a free battery. Mm -hmm. Just remember. Before you really start servicing it, you need to. What the fuck? <laughs> the phone turn off. It's a fake switch. It really won't turn off. What the fuck? Let me gotta push it in. Pull on it. Oh, you oh. pull the red tab off, then you turn it off. Huh. This tab locks it on basically, so it can't turn off going down the road. <laughs> Alright, and they've given us enough security bolts that I'll have to get my bigger socket for. At least the threads. Let's go back to my two that I stripped out at first by not doing that method. This one. One down. About 15 more to go. What's it still holding? I mean, there's two power cables coming in here. Positive and negative. Positive and negative. So, I think that right there... It's negative, negative, negative. Z -z -z -z. 140 volts. Look at those capacitors. So those are what run the motor. The three phases, those pulse each phase. That's why there's three of them. Yeah, that's fucking, that's high tech shit, man. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Oh, and there's the circuit breaker. So this thing turns the power on and off using these little three wires. And it's got a relay in there that breaks the contact. Mm. It's a manual kind of thing. But yeah, you can take this and probably touch that to it and it won't do anything. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially when that sentence has a probably in it. That's one plug right here, dude. What are you doing, Jack? going home with us, baby. Oh, look at that. I'm surprised. Holy crap. How could you get so fucking lucky? Somebody pulled the trans down but didn't take the electric motor. Wow. Makes it nice and easy so for you. So, first one's an instant 15-minute score. Not two hours. <sighs> Sweet. How could the beast fly? Would you leave it? Thank you, people. Thank you, people. Thank you. All right. So first off, it's 14. I mean, you can't get easier than this pole right here. You can go underneath the core and look pretty well. Yeah, I tried to stop. Yeah, that big screwdriver. Swap out for our 15, or I mean our 17. Did you see the motor tilt when I did that? Uh huh. I'm 
two, three, four, five, six. And then 10 millimeter bolt up here. And then these wires. Don't let them fool ya. They want to school ya. Just like Julia. bolts in the second gen. I mean the first gen. On a different horsepower? No, this is very just much the same one we already have. The reason I'm getting this one is because we fucked up the other one. See, that little bitty nick. When we dropped it and it cracked the magnet, yeah. eh, not so much an issue. When we nicked, or I nicked, and I remember I had the plate sitting next to it and I took a turn and it slammed it into the, one of these coils. I just don't mm -hmm. like it, so we'll get a new one. And hey, look, just it was easy case. enough. So. It's good. It needs to be a little bit looser. You can see where it's cutting and where it hasn't yet. 